Stop financing terrorism. Join Terror Free Energy Coalition. Visit www.terrorfreeoil.org. A first look now at a new tactic used by Al-Qaeda and radical Islam to silence their critics. Anyone who dares to criticize their religion is targeted for death, and the Internet is their weapon. An online forum favored by extremists posts everything you need for a successful hit. The target's name, home and work addresses, phone numbers, photos, and even maps are posted. Right now, Robert Redeker, a French high school philosophy teacher, is in hiding. Radicals now calling for his execution. After he wrote a newspaper piece criticizing Islam, he and his family now live with constant police protection. Joining us to explore this new trend in the war on terror, Steve Emerson, who heads up the investigative project. Uh, thanks for joining us, Steve. Sure. Look, what was it that Redeker said that provoked such a response? Well, he called Islam a violent religion, and he criticized the Prophet Muhammad. This was in response to the Islamic reaction to the Pope's remarks uh, several weeks ago. And uh, for this reaction, over these comments, he had to go into hiding, as you mm -hmm. noted. And this is a tactic that's increasingly being used by Islamic populations and leaders, not leaders, but activists mm -hmm. in the West in targeting their critics. It's really a way to try and silence free speech, is it not? Absolutely, has a chilling effect. Look, uh, you had a section dealing with Adam Gadan in the last tape that he issued. He named four enemies of Islam that had to convert. I was one of them. Now, I, I take my precautions, but on the other hand, other people would feel very uh, intimidated by this. And it has had an effect in writers throughout Europe. In, in what sense? Other people are unwilling to give their true feelings about Islam for fear that they may be targeted on these websites as well? Well, look at the reaction to the Danish cartoons and the riots and the threats that uh, evolved throughout the Middle East, Asia, and Europe. This clearly had a chilling effect in the refusal by 99% of American newspapers or journalists to publish the cartoons here. That's a great point. Uh, sort of in the bigger picture, however, do you see a trend where radical Islam is trying to impose their law or Sharia law on the West? Absolutely. We see this in the cases of taxi drivers, Islamic taxi drivers in Minneapolis refusing to carry passengers who are possessing liquor in their baggage or who are seeing eye dogs. And this has actually occurred in Houston, this has occurred in London, and uh, it's definitely an effort by those Muslims who believe that it's okay to impose Sharia here in the West. So what do people like ourselves who believe in the right to free speech do to fight something that is so insidious? Well, I think there really has to be a united effort to resist this, and in strength there is numbers. When the Danish cartoons uh, were published in the Danish newspaper, there were a bunch of European newspapers that collectively decided to republish the cartoons to say, we're not going to be intimidated, and we shouldn't allow the Sharia laws to be imposed in the United States or in other Western countries. Steve Emerson of the Investigative Project, thanks a lot. Sure. Stop financing terrorism. Join Terror Free Energy Coalition. Visit www.terrorfreeoil.org.